Luroy's Pokemon Sapphire Walkthrough Part 9. Welcome to Duford Town, everybody! Duford Town, a tiny island in the blue sea. Now, if you talk to Mr. Briny right here, he will bring you back to Petalburg City for whatever reason if you need to go back. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. Obviously, we still have stuff to check out here, so we're not gonna do that. Now, if you talk to this guy, um, he will give you the old rod, which is the first fishing rod you can get in this game. It's the... It's the worst one, because you can get the good rod and the super rod later. So it's the most basic. You can pretty much just find, like, Magikarp and Tentacool. Um, so yeah, it's really easy to figure out how to do. I'm not going to use it right now for anything, because... Honestly, Magikarp and Tentacool are a little too hard to train at this point in the game. So, if you wanted to get this Pokemon, I'd recommend... Well, for Tentacool especially, I'd recommend waiting till later on. Um, so yeah, obviously the gym's right here. Now, what I find really interesting... Um, in Gold and Silver version, Signwood City... Remember that? Um, yeah, it's an island just like Duford Town, and in both of those cities you can find um, that the gym leader is a fighting type user. I think that's kind of interesting. Anyways, um, now let's check out the Duford Hall since that's the, I guess, only other really important thing here. Like, it's not really that important actually, not now anyways, but you can go in here, and there's just a ton of people talking about the exact same stuff. There's, it's really pointless. Like, they all talk about the same thing, like the amusing walk. They all talk about that. And look at this guy up here. He's watching a blank TV. There's nothing on TV. What is he doing? But anyways, there's really nothing important to do in here. After you've gotten the fifth gym badge, you can come back here and you can get the TM for Sludge Bomb, so we'll definitely do that later, but for now you can't do anything. So, um, basically you just want to head up north and um, get your Pokemon ready, because you got some trainers to fight, starting with this fisherman right here. Um, I think you can fight two fishermen over here. They're pretty much just going to have tentacles on their team, so, you know, if you have a psychic Pokemon like Ralts, you should probably put that up front. And yeah, Tentacool, I was mentioning before, you can catch them with the old rod. They're really annoying to fight right now because um, they know two moves, poison, well, they know Constrict also, but the other two moves they know are Poison Sting and Supersonic. Poison Sting can poison you, which is really annoying, and Supersonic will confuse you, which is even more annoying. Now, luckily, it's only using Constrict, so I don't really need to worry about it, but yeah. Yeah, and tentacles are actually kind of hard to take out because they have pretty good special... Well, actually, they have really good special defense. And their other stats are all around good as well, so yeah. But it's worth it because they give out a lot of experience. Like, Athena might even get up a level here. We'll see. Yeah, 270, which is a lot in this... Or, at this point in the game, I guess. So yeah. And, um... Yeah, I guess that's really all there is to say about him, so... Let's see. Oh yeah, after you have Surf, I think you can Surf over there and you can grab another item, which is hidden back there, but obviously we can't do that right now, so we'll just fight you. Um, fishing in a sea or stream, I really don't have a preference. I don't think it makes a difference. Anyways, um, Fisherman Elliot. Oh yeah, this guy has Magikarps on his team, which is just great. I mean, who doesn't want to fight Magikarps? <laughs> but yeah, um, you probably don't want to see me use Confusion over and over, because it might take like two hits to kill this thing. I guess I'll show it anyways, it won't be too bad. But yeah, Magikarps just use Splash, obviously, they don't do any damage, it's pretty much worthless, but whatever, you're gonna have to kill him anyways if you're gonna fight this guy. So yeah. I, I probably don't need to cut this out, it doesn't really take that long. So anyways, this guy also has one Tentacool, um, and yeah, you just fought that other one, so you'll probably know how to take care of it. It actually can really be annoying if you don't have a Ralts with you, like if you're using you know, like a Mudkip or a Torchic, or even just Trico, like if you don't have anything else, they're actually really annoying to take out. And I'm really happy that I didn't hit myself in confusion. Because that's like the thing I hate the most about this game, hitting yourself in confusion. And I'll probably rant about that a bunch later on in the game. And he has one last magic up to finish things off, and just to make it easier, I'm gonna go to Grovile. Just because I can take care of it with a Bullet Seed. It's not like it's really like, you know, losing a ton of experience for alts anyways. Magikarps are just, like, they're, they're worthless. They don't give you any experience. They don't have any attacking moves. They're just completely worthless. Until they evolve into Gyarados, then they're really good. But yeah. Yeah, if you want to catch a Magikarp here with the Old Rod, I'm just warning you, it's going to be so, so hard to train. But once you get a Gyarados, it will be worth it, I promise. So yeah, we beat this guy now. And we can finally head into the cave, which is where we're going to find Steven. Alright, this here is the Granite Cave, the first cave you're gonna have to go through in this game. And here you can find Zubat, Abra, Geodude, and Makuhita. When you get in the first basement floor, you will find Eren, Sabli, and Sapphire, and Mawile and Ruby. 
and you can find Nose Pass on the very bottom floor. Now, as you see right here, this guy will give you HML5, which is Flash. Now, you do not need this at all to beat the game. You don't need it to get through this cave, but it will make it easier. Um, unfortunately, you can't use Flash until you get the gym badge from Brawly, so um, I would just recommend going through without Flash. You really don't need it. Um, I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Yeah, you see this little light around you? That's all you get to see to get through it, but it's enough because it's really easy to navigate through, especially if you already know where you're going. Um, you basically just go to the right, then you go to the left, then you go to the right until you get up to the top. So, yeah, um, and my repel wore off. So, I, I don't need to use Flash to get through here. You might need it, though. So, if you really just get lost, um, you know, beat Brawly, get the HM for Flash, then try again, because it'll make it a lot easier. Anyways, we're just about there. Yeah, let me get back up to the top again. So, if you're having trouble, you know, just kind of follow where I went. So you just kind of go back and forth, side to side. So, yeah. When you get in here, you're going to find Steven. I don't know why he's in this cave. I think he's, like, researching rocks or something. Like, all that interesting stuff. Or rare stones, I'm sorry. But, yeah, you can give him the letter because, you know, all the people at the Demon Corporation, you know, are too lazy to do this themselves. So, they make you do it. And this guy, in return, will give you TM-47, which is Steel Wing. Now, it's a great Steel-type move, which you can teach to Bird-type Pokemon... Bird-flying-type Pokemon. Um, and I think at this point, all you can really have is, like, Talo. I'm not sure if Pelipper or Wingle can learn it, but I know, like, Talo and Swallow, you can give it to them. So, I would definitely recommend that for those Pokemon. And I think now we're going to use an Escape Rope to get out of here, because I don't want my Repel to wear off on my way out. So, yeah. Alright, so we've taken care of all that, and after you deliver the letter to Steven, believe it or not, you can skip the next gym. That's right, you don't even need to fight Brawly until the very end of the game if you don't want to. You can actually go to Slateport City right now if you talk to um, Mr. Briny, so you actually don't have to fight the gym until... Well, whenever you want to, really, but I am going to fight the gym, but before I do that, I'm going to do one last thing here in the Granite Cave. Alright, let's see if this is it! Yep, there it is, Makuhita, and this is the Pokemon I'm going to catch for my team. It's a fighting type. Um, it's a very good Pokemon, in my opinion. When it's evolved, it will have really good attack and HP, and I'd highly recommend it if you want to add it to your team. So yeah, let's weaken this thing down and try to catch it. Alright, let's try Great Ball then, since Pokeballs apparently don't want to work. And yeah, there we go, we got it. Makuhita has been caught, so yeah, this is going to be the newest member of our team. Um, Makuhita's a great Pokemon, I'd highly recommend it, if you need a fighting type. And we're gonna name him... Well, anyone who plays Zelda games will get this. I'm gonna name him Goron, because you cannot tell me that this thing does not look like a Goron. <laughs> I mean, it really just looks exactly like it, so yeah. Alright, last thing we're gonna do here before we finish up is head into the gym. I don't know why I said finish up like I'll finish up, but whatever, um... So yeah, this is the fighting type gym, and I'm going to put uh, Makuhita up front to get experience. Now, it's really weird. You see this little light in here, just like in the Granite Cave? Um, the way it works is you're going to have to fight these trainers, and when you beat them, the light will grow bigger. And by the time it gets big enough, you'll be able to find the gym leader and defeat him. So yeah, um, you're going to have to fight some of these trainers first. Now, most of them only have one Pokemon. I think they might all only have one Pokemon, so it's really not too hard. Now, um... Flying and Psychic types definitely work the best here, because that's what's super effective against fighting. Um, but Metatite's actually fighting and Psychic types, so really only flying will work well against that. And I don't think you can really have a Ghost type at this point, so yeah. <laughs> and there's Detect, which is so annoying! Yeah, if you go through this gym, you're gonna have to deal with Detect, which is like the most annoying move in the world. It just completely, uh, you know, stops your attack from working, which is like worthless, but yeah, just wastes a turn. So yeah. <laughs> And I have... Yep, I knew it. This is going to take a really long time to kill. And Metatite keeps raising up its attack, so now I'm actually kind of scared, because this thing has a ton of attack power. Because of its ability, it doubles its attack, it's kind of scary. Oh, but we confuse it, though. Alright, so... Actually, if he hits himself, he'll probably knock himself out, because his attack's been... Oh, he actually might. Yeah, he raised up his attack so much, now he's going to hurt himself, so he's going to kill him. So that's perfect. Just perfect. Alright, whoa, I lost! Is it really- You think it's weird that she's just sitting in midair like that? Like, she's just floating in midair, kicking. Whatever. So yeah, as you see, the light got a bit bigger, so you can go and find some more trainers now, and I guess we'll fight you. Might is right, come on! Alright, so this guy... 
black belt Hideki. He has a Machop on his team. Um, Machop is just a pure fighting type, which means they'll be weak to Psychic and Flying, so Ralts should have no problems taking it out. And like I mentioned before, Machop has really high attack, so it's actually kind of threatening. And Karate Chop is not very effective, but it'll still do a pretty good um, chunk of damage. Anyways, I think a couple confusions will knock this thing out. Or maybe three. Just gonna barely... Oh, Focus Energy! That's kind of scary, because that will raise its critical hit ratio. Oh, he's just gonna use Leer, never mind. <laughs> Raises up its critical hit ratio and then just uses Leer. Yeah, that's definitely smart. So, yeah, one more confusion will kill this. Oh, we outsped it. That's perfect. So, yeah, there goes the Machop, and I don't think I'm going to have time to fight the other trainer in here. So, next time we're going to be taking on, I guess, the last trainer, and then we'll fight Brawly. So, stay tuned for more. Not enough power.